What's up guys, my name is Komodo and today we're going to be breaking down the best controller settings to give you the most fluid movement and top efficiency out of all the options available. We will also briefly touch how to fix stick drift and fine tune your aiming that way you're always locked on. To start off, let's talk about controller vibration. You need to have this off because it can affect your aiming and also may cause you to panic inadvertently. I personally choose to flip my L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 because there's less travel in between the bumpers than there is the actual triggers. I do choose stick layout preset to be default. There's absolutely nothing special hiding in here. Moving on to dead zone input. The first thing you want to do is turn this on and see if you have any vibration in either one of your sticks whenever you move them. If they're not drifting and both these are saying zero, then you're good to go. You can actually possibly lower it down. So how we're gonna adjust this is I like to start off on zero on both of my sticks. And then we're gonna go back to the test. Once you test it, you can see vibration in both sticks. The vertical axis are both off just a little bit. So we're gonna adjust them both. I recommend going by threes at a time because you don't wanna overdo it and kill too much of your aim. Once you get adjusted, go back and just tap your sticks, see if they move around. If they don't, you have it set and we can move on. Moving on to aiming. If you want to be able to flick on your target but stay on your target, there's a few things you might need to adjust. I recommend starting off on an 8-8. That way you still have the movement to flip around very fast, but you're not going to go over someone. Now, when you're ADS, I highly recommend something lower. That way you have extreme fine tuning on your aim. For sensitivity multiplier, I personally keep this the way it comes. That way I don't confuse my muscle memory. You can adjust this as you feel needed. Vertical aim axis, we're all gonna leave this standard. Tactical stance, we're actually gonna tune this down just a little bit to match almost what we had, but we want it to be a nice medium. Aim response curve type is actually arguable. I prefer dynamic for the personal reason that depending on how much tension I apply on my stick is how fast my character is gonna move. Sometimes you don't want full acceleration, sometimes you do. We leave custom sensitivity per zoom off. Aim assist is on, default, third person is assist. Motion sensor behavior, I don't play with this at all. I just leave it off. Moving on to gameplay, the category that has the most to do with your efficiency. All Mac attack sprint, I like to have this on. Auto move four is off, tactical sprint behavior, double tap, grounded mantle on, automatic airborne mantle off, automatic ground mantle and hanging off, slide dive behavior. I like this to be tap to slide. There are a few options in here. You can have it tap to dive or now you can change it to slide only or dive only. If you choose one of these, of course, you will lose the opposite of it. Plunging underwater, you want this as free. That way you just have to look down to go underwater instead of hitting an extra button. Parachute auto deploy, you want this off. You need to learn how to open up your own parachute, not smack into the ground. Sprinting door bash, you're gonna want this on. That way you can keep your movement going. Less climb behavior, you want movement based. Slide cancel sprint, you want on. That way you can actually do the slide canceling method. Aim down sight behavior, you want that old. Change zoom activation, you wanna keep this as you normally have it. Focus behavior should be locked. Equipment behavior is hold. Weapon mount activation is ADS plus melee. This is a big one right here that they changed. Weapon mount exit delay. You want this instant because you don't want no delay in between when you're trying to get on and off of cover. Tactical stance activation comes very awkwardly as ADS plus down button. We want to choose this to ADS plus melee. Now imagine most of you are Warzone players, so you're going to want to turn this on the toggle. If you're multiplayer, you can choose to respawn or you can choose once. Interact reload behavior, you want prioritized interact. Armor plate behavior, I personally like to apply one because I don't want my player putting on all the plates while I'm in engagement. Sometimes you only need one. ADS stick swap, you want off. Backpack control, you want to use the directional buttons. You also have the options to choose the sticks, although I feel like that could mess you up. ADS interruption behavior should already be locked as interrupt. Depleted ammo weapon switch, you want on. Quick C4 destination, you want one by one. Manual fire behavior is a new one that they have added for people with motor skill issues. If you are not able to spam fire the button, then you are able to choose hold and this will fire the weapon for you with a slight delay. If you do not have motor skill issues, I would highly recommend keeping this on press. Don't be lazy and you'll be able to actually fire faster. Vehicle camera recenter, you want a short delay. Camera initial position, you want to be able to move around freely. That way you can see what is around your vehicle. Lean out is going to be melee. The rest of this, we keep it as it comes. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And as always, peace and love and follow for everything Warzone.